Diadem adds another high-performing paddle to their lineup, and this one's called the Warrior Edge. The paddle offers an average weight of eight ounces and is built with a polypropylene honeycomb core. An etched carbon fiber hitting surface offers a consistent yet spin-friendly response. Featuring a 16 millimeter thickness and a signature aero guard channel edge guard, this paddle provides both power and maneuverability. The first thing that really jumped out to me when I was hitting this Warrior paddle was how muted it felt at every connection. Uh, it's a very, very dampened paddle, so if you're looking for a high level of comfort, I think this is a great way to go. And it's also a fairly quiet paddle. It's a lot quieter than my battle paddle that I use. And so it just took me a while to get used to that different sound and different feel when I was hitting the ball. It's a very solid paddle, so I was able to get good power on it. I thought it had good plow through um, on my serves and when I was really looking to bang the ball, I thought the paddle came through contact really nicely and it was giving me some good pace and weight on my shots. I did struggle a little bit with uh, touch volleys and dinks, but uh, I did learn to, uh, to dial those in the more I hit the paddle. It just took me a while to get used to it and then more and more I played it, the more comfortable I felt. And I actually started playing really well with it towards the end of uh, about three weeks of hitting. So a uh, fun pa paddle for me to play test. If you're looking for something really damp and muted, it's a great way to go. Very excited to be here today to talk about Diadem's new Warrior Edge pickleball paddle. They've been making some great products, whether it be tennis string or fishing lines. They've merged seamlessly into pickleball paddles. Really enjoyed this. I would say I'm a good source of power on the ball, so this is a very low-powered, high-control-oriented paddle. I think maybe you're getting a little power uh, return off the polypropylene core, but definitely that etched carbon surface is gonna give you lots of spin, lots of control, and it kind of gives it a really dampened feel and response, including the sound. Uh, not as loud and poppy as a lot of other uh, paddles. This really let me be me. Uh, I don't really have a particular uh, favorite shot with it. I thought this was a very versatile all-court paddle. Typically, I lean towards a handle length that's longer than five, so this definitely kind of readjusted my definition of what really functions well for me on the court. Eight ounces is a good weight for me. I might modify it a little bit, but overall, this is like a turnkey paddle for me. Just get it and go. Great play test. I really enjoyed this play test. I felt like this paddle was pretty versatile and I think it's a great option for players that kind of have more of that all court style or players that like to play both singles and doubles. I found that there was plenty of power that I was able to hit nice driving shots that were pretty effective from the baseline. But at the same time, it was also really nice and easy to do some nice volley volley exchanges or quick reactionary volleys with this paddle. If you are a player that really enjoys to hit with a ton of spin like I do, you're gonna like this paddle because it does have a more textured surface. Um, it feels very similar to that of the Engage Pursuit paddles to me. Comparing it to the uh, original Warrior, I much prefer this version because it is a little bit thinner. Um, and I felt it was much more control oriented. Like the other play testers had mentioned, my one downside for this paddle is that it feels really soft and muted and I just prefer a paddle that gives me a more responsive feel. But overall, I think this paddle has a great blend of power, spin, and control. This is my first Diadem Pickleball paddle and I wasn't sure what to expect, but like the other play testers, after a couple hits, the first thing I noticed was the extremely dampened feel of this paddle. And this was a really awesome thing for me because I felt that the paddle was absorbing the power of my opponents and I really was able to get a nice controlled response, whether it's from my ground strokes or my volleys. And I was really able to add power when I needed to. I also found the paddle to be extremely comfortable. I never felt any unwanted vibrations. Moving into spin potential, I always look for a paddle that offers a lot of spin and this one fits the bill for me. I was really able to use different kinds of spins, whether I was coming up and over the ball and getting that ball to dip at my opponent's feet, or if I was slicing my backhand, I could get the ball nice and low. One thing I thought Diadem did a great job of was the combination of stability and maneuverability. The paddle felt nice and quick up in my hands at net. I never felt like I was late, but it also was really stable. So I never felt like I was getting pushed around when I was hitting against the bigger hitters. My one small knock would be the feel. Now I didn't feel as connected to the paddle as I wanted to, so my touch shots maybe weren't the strongest. However, that's not my game, so it didn't really bother me. Overall, I found myself coming back to this paddle time and time again, and it's definitely worth a demo. For more information on this Warrior Edge or any other paddles in the Diadem lineup, be sure to head to totalpickleball.com.